In a previous lesson, we took a look at guides, and what I want to do is walk you through here, continuing on with guides. Now we see right now that when we hover our mouse over the guides, they become highlighted. That's just letting us know that we can select them and do what we want with them. We also notice that our cursor changes here in InDesign. So we can grab it and move it over to the left, to the right, whatever we want to do. But suppose we have a lot of elements on the page and we have a lot of things going on and we go about selecting those items and we accidentally select our guides. As you can see here, I have a number selected. I've dragged over them. So we now have an issue where we're selecting guides and other things on the page and that's not what we want. So what we want to do is we want to lock down our guides. So with our guides deselected, we can go up to view and then we can go down to grids and guides and over to lock guides. That's also option, command, and then a semicolon on your keyboard. So I have gone ahead up into the menu, selected that again, get grids and guides, lock guides. And now when I try to select, those guides are not selectable. Those are now locked. So that's how you can work with guides. You can drag them out, position them, and when you're ready to lock them, you can lock those guides down. You can also uncheck that and get back to where we started, where guides are now selectable, and you can go back through the process of adjusting them as needed. So that's how you work with guides. That's how you lock down the guides so that you don't make errors by moving them.